Two giants of football going head to head today. The stadium is full and everyone is excited and ready for this one. The story of the game as it unfolds live next on EA TV. Thanks for joining us at the San Siro, famously a shared home, and we're delighted to be sharing this with you today. I'm Guy Mowbray, and alongside me for commentary is Sue Smith. We've got action on the way from Serie A. It's Inter facing Juventus. Well, thanks as always, Guy. It's a real pleasure to be here. It's been buzzing ahead of kickoff. Let's hope the football lives up to the atmosphere. This is the Inter starting eleven. Jan Sommer is in goal. Alessandro Bastoni plays with Benjamin Pavard as fullbacks. Nicolo Barella plays alongside Hakan Chalhanolu in central midfield. And they've decided to go with two in attack for this game. Here's how Juventus line up. Wojciech Szczesny stands between the posts. Bremer plays alongside Federico Gatti in the heart of defence. Adrien Rabio plays alongside Manuel Locatelli in central midfield. And they're going with two men leading the line. Well, Lautaro Martinez is very much the player's player. Many have picked him out as the one they'd most like to be partnered by in attack. What should we expect from him today, Sue? Well, there's few better in the air than him, and he does tend to score a lot of goals that way. You've got to presume that that's going to be one of the tactics today. Try and make the pitch wide, utilise the flanks, and then get good service to him. Martinez. He takes aim. Well, I'm sure he thought he'd scored there. Great goalkeeping. different from the corner Mkhitaryan good work from Juve to win back possession Federico Chiesa Hakan Chalhanoğlu there could be something building for Inter here chance for the lead well, that hasn't taken long. In front already. Well, here it is again, and all credit to the goal scorer, but you've got to ask questions of the keeper. He's got to have that covered for me, and no wonder he's frustrated with himself. Is moving again, looking for a reaction for that setback. Inter have possession again. Henrik Mkhitaryan. They're not getting close enough here. Martinez. Damian. Trying his luck. Nearly a wonderful attempt. Well, it's a fantastic effort. Difficult technique, but he's caught it well. Very unfortunate.
Vlaovic. On to McKenney. Dujan Vlaovic. Miretti. Lovely weighted pass. And that's a great bit of goalkeeping. That's what he's there for. And it's cleared away from goal. Nicolo Barella. A little bit deep with the approach now. It'll come their way soon. This is an excellent looking inter transition. But not the end result they wanted from an encouraging position. Gatti. On to McKenney. Barella. Federico Di Marco. Well held, but it was played right into his zone. He's drifting into a useful position here. What a chance! And they've scored again! That puts them further in front. What a position to be in. Well, here it is again. And he shows his quality to beat his man, finds a yard of space, and then his finish. It's quality, that. rolling again <laughs> Mkhitaryan Barella Damian Locatelli Miretti. Now Kostic. Locatelli. On to Vlavic. And the forward progress continues with a good ball. Oh, a great chance. There it is. A lifeline in this game. And surely momentum is with them now. Incredible. Well, take a look at this. The manager won't be happy with how his team defended there. You've got to get rid. Show some fight when you're trying to win the ball back. It's just not good enough. So that makes it 2-1, and away we go again. Barella. Oh, that's been won really smartly. Bremer, Locatelli, the ball back with Juve now, McKenney, Chiesa, here's the shot, and they complete the comeback from being two goals down, they're level now. Another look now, and you can see he's under all sorts of pressure here. He's done well, though, to fend them off. Really strong play and a good finish, too. So off we go at 2 all. Lautaro Martinez.
DeMarco. Martinez. Now Mukitari. And the defence has done its job to stop any trouble brewing. Chiesa. So much room out wide for Juventus. And stopped in their tracks with a change in possession. And it's been cut out. There's the turnover. Benjamin Pavard. Barella. Darmian. Barella. Decent looking cross played in. It's broken down and it had looked promising. And that's going to be all for the first half at the San Siro. It's been an eye catching performance thus far from Lautaro Martinez. He's putting his stamp on the game. Yeah, he's done well, hasn't he? Not just his goal, which he did show great. And we're back underway for the second 45. Vlavic. Miretti. Now McKenney. A promising looking attack, but it's come to nothing. Mkhitaryan. Martinez. DiMarco. Delivered towards the far post. A goal that gives them the advantage. sure the keeper could have done much about that to be honest and away we go again at 3-2 Rabio Locatelli Andrian Rabio Bremen now Kostic in the right position to cut out the pass Francesco Acerbi Pavard oh bad tackle and the ref will surely take action. And that foul has resulted in a booking. Well, it wasn't the best challenge, was it? Had to be a yellow. Got themselves a corner now. It's been delivered. Well, not quite fully away here. Great defending.
They are sitting a bit too deep here. Damian. Players waiting in the centre. And away, they've got it clear. Could be a chance to break here. Adrian Rabia. Locatelli. Danilo. And that took a touch on the way out. Throw in to come. Rabia. Moving the ball well in search of the equaliser. Chiesa. Miretti. Rabio. Rabio. Oh, crucial tackle to deal with the danger. Lautaro Martinez. Locatelli. Lavic. And that's nicely won to see off the threat. Federico Di Marco. Lautaro Martinez. There's a lot of room out wide for Inter now. Di Marco. Looking for the angle. Cut back nicely. They've lost it there, and the attack is over. Breaking at pace, this could be dangerous. Milik. Now Chiesa. Now can he get the cross in? It's cleared, and they can breathe easier. They won't take it from him there. Lavic, struggling to keep the ball there. Lautaro Martinez. Di Marco. Di Marco. Options available in the middle. And that one is got away. Locatelli. Chiesa. Juventus moving the ball forward with purpose. Nicolo Barella. Moving forward well. Puts the ball into the box. It's a magnificent goal. He flew onto that and it flew into the net. a look at this again the cross is great it's difficult to defend but it's all about can someone get on the end of it and what a superb finish too he got himself free and beats the keeper well we restart at 4-2 the goals continue to come Dujan Vlaovic. <laughs> Filip Kostic. Kostic. Now there could be a chance to counter. Benjamin Pavard. Martinez to deliver a good ball in and away from danger it goes Juventus recovering possession well 
Dujan Vlaovic. Miretti. Bremer. Now Kostic. Rabio. Vlaovic. On to Chiesa. That's good, strong play. Just needs the composure now. And still danger here. Not the end to the move they were looking for. Quadrado. Nicolo Barella. Federico Di Marco. Barella. Quadrado. Real opportunity. And that puts a really impressive seal on what has been a fantastic performance. Well, here we can see it again. You do have to feel for the keeper. He's left completely exposed at the back. And he never really had much of a chance. It's poor defending, you have to say. So they get us moving once again, and it does feel like the full-time whistle can't come soon enough. Federico Chiesa. Locatelli. And the pass is incomplete, nicely won. Lautaro Martinez. Federico Di Marco, Martinez, Barella, Barella, lovely weighted pass, trying to carve out the angle, Philip Kostic, well you can tell what the fans think of that decision, they're certain that it should have been a penalty, now this has to be, Oh, what a really good save that was. Just about able to keep it in. Quadrado. Pulls it back. Need to get tighter here. Nicolo Barella. Di Marco. A body in the way. They decide against putting it into the box. Danilo. There is the final whistle, and it's Inter who take the three points. Well, that was a dominant performance. They just couldn't live with him from an attacking perspective. Created lots of opportunities and some good finishes too. It was actually easy in the end. Well, there are good games, and then there are games like that. He surely has been the player who's most caught the eye today. Yeah, he caused them a lot of problems off the ball, closing them down and never giving them a minute in possession. On the ball, he was brave and showed quality.